Difficult to control grass weeds like sterile brome, wild oats, canary grass and particularly black grass are getting increasingly problematic on Irish farms, on Irish tillage farms and we really need to stop their spread. Take black grass for, as an example. One, one plant of black grass can leave 600 viable seeds afterwards. So you can see that there's a great challenge really in preventing the spread of it. There are many methods to prevent the spread, but one of the key ones that must be carried out is to avoid carrying seeds on machines during the harvest period. So the key machines there are combines, balers, rakes, trailers, tractors, any machines that are involved in the harvest process. We need to go through a cleaning routine for those. And that's what we're going to show you today, just a very short routine on a combine. So before we start any cleaning process, there's a couple of uh, very important safety issues. Number one, keys in the pocket. Uh, number two, that you wear uh, PPE. It's not that is, uh, you're going to get caught up in anything, but it'll make it a much more comfortable procedure that you'll actually have no problem doing the next time as well. So gloves, maybe in a, a decent pair of disposable overalls, goggles and glasses. And then on the combine itself, that is, you have the keys in your pocket and then you have your rams here locked, that you're not going to be in any difficulty if you're standing in the wrong place. Okay, so we start at the front of the combine, it might sound obvious, but the main reason for this is that we're not dislodging material here afterwards. So we dislodge anything here, in under the uh, front of the auger here, across front of the knife here, opening back the covers here and the side of it here, and getting uh, all that area cleaned down and brushed down out onto, the, out onto the ground, cleaning between the knives, because we don't want that carrying back up through the combine then for further, for further cleaning. So a lot of material generally builds up here, particularly with barley and that. So this is a critical area to get this all brushed off here, right across from either side here, across the front of this as well. And then up here on the top of the elevator, the front elevator, or neck of it here, and brush that off as well. So you get a lot of that material off before it gets a chance to go back into the combine. So after opening up the side panels here, we will have a lot of material sometimes lodged underneath the edge of the covers here. So clean that all off as well. And then working from the front to the back again, the unloading auger, we have the panels taken off here. So we're going to run that as well, that you have um, any loose material will fall out there and, and on the bottom of that. Now you may need to get up into the tank if you've got particularly uh, sticky barley or wheat so that's a, a, a big safety issue there so you really want somebody with you if you do need to get into the tank but you may have to get in there to clean out from the top down okay so all along here then you're brushing with a brush like this all these pulleys will have a lot of uh, material lodged on them down in the crevices using the blower as well which will help to blow off a lot of that uh, loose material So at the back end of the combine, you have a lot of chassis here, a lot of axle area under the straw uh, chopper and spreader, a lot of areas here which will need to be cleaned off as well. A lot of stuff material tends to lodge there. And looking in back over the uh, grain sieves, uh, they will need to be opened fully. But even if you, it should clear itself, but if it isn't, you'll have to get maybe in high pressure with a uh, air with a lance on it to get down in there because it's, it's tricky enough to get at that to clean it out. But it does need to be cleaned. So on the straw walkers, you, you can get in at them from the back end here in this one, but a lot of combines you get them from the top end as well. So have a look down there, see if there's any material lodged in that and clean them down as well. And opening and closing the back uh, plate here and engage and disengage the straw chopper as well, which will help to dislodge any material. If the straw chopper hasn't been used, the stuff will remain sitting in that. So engage and disengage that as well. So on this side of the combine now, a very important area is to open the bottom of the grain elevator so that if a lot of debris will fall out from there. So we'll open these down like this and take them off and leave them on side. But be very careful that uh, you're going to run the combine now. You want no bystanders in this situation here that it's going to get, um, because the machine will be running. And also at the front of the neck there, we can lift the header and uh, open the stone trap as well. So we'll do all that and then we'll run the combine, but be very careful that you have no bystanders. Okay, so with the bottom elevators open and the cross augers open as well, um, now we'd uh, run the combine at full speed with the fan speed at full and the drum speed at full speed and the sieves open fully as well. Now some of the combines may have an auto setting that you can set it to cleaning mode. So if you want to do that as well, open it fully at that and it'll clean the combine then as well. <laughs> So that's the cleaning completed. So then when you move to the next farm or field, it's as well to run the machine then because some uh, seeds will have got dislodged within the combine. So run it then at full speed in an uncropped area will be best before you start harvesting. So cleaning machines is just one measure in the control of grass weed, but a very, very important one. And don't forget, we've shown you just the basics on a combine. There's much more information available from manufacturers, 
there's much more material on the internet in terms of uh, longer videos of cleaning processes and of course other machines are hugely important, balers in particular. We have to stop the spread of grass weeds.